and it is the first day of September, and uh, that means uh, meeting night tonight. That's right. Good morning, sir. Welcome yeah. to the uh, KWN Morning News, and you know, a lot's been going on as you prepare for a uh, uh, a September meeting. Yeah, it just uh, time keeps going by. You know, we say it every month. You know, but it don't seem like no time like it's just last week we had a meeting. You know, and here it is September. But uh, we got uh, you know our, our work session started six, and of course the meeting will go right right into it after after we finish the work session. And, uh, not not a whole lot, you know, on on the agenda. And I didn't I didn't I thought I had it with me here, and I did. And I brought it back in the office, but uh, but uh, we've got uh, some appointments that to make tonight. We've uh, you know I think we've got a person for the Northwest Georgia Regional Commission. We've been looking for that for a while, trying to you know, nail that down. And I want. Well, I know sure. that uh, you you mentioned every month that yeah. you know you got that board opening yeah. uh, in a public meeting. Yeah, that's got to be a so someone that can available to. To travel, you know, to be able to, to, to attend those meetings, and, right? And uh, and and they be, you know, someone really knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the county, and and uh, and about, uh, you know, and this person here has to be, it can't be uh, politically in, in, at all, you know, it can't be a, uh, it has to be from the from the community, you know, right? So, and that's why that board structured over there, and uh, it's myself, and then you got uh, the mayor uh, uh, is on it, and. Uh, then we have each county has one uh, person there that represents the uh, uh, the rest of the county as far as the uh, the people that are uh, uh, I guess you'd call it and I started to say the civilians but it's not civilians but you know it's it's non elected it's non elected person you know it's not affiliated with any party you know and uh, it's a you know it's a good thing and and of course the mayor the way what well, the way they choose the mayor it's a mayor from the largest city of that county. So if you've got five cities, it's whoever the most populated uh, city is. That's, that's the mayor that actually will be on serving on that. Place. Right. So we don't have that problem here. But we just got, of course, we got one city, so, which is a good thing. You know. Right. But uh, but we got a, you know, we got that uh, that that board meets. You know, it's a meeting. I usually am not here. It's on that third Thursday of every month, and uh, and I mean I've been going to it for many years, and it's. It's the most important meeting I attend of, out of all the meetings that I could go to and do go to. Uh, it's it's uh, it's where, in that room, you know, you have all the representatives from all your your grant, uh, your people from uh, the ARC, uh, CDBG. Uh, you got your Congress people there. You know, the representatives. A lot of times, the Congress going to be there. Uh, a lot of them seeing their Senate representatives. So in that room, it's a it's an important meeting. You know, but, uh, right. But we've got. Uh, um, several things we want to talk about, you know. I mean, we went yesterday, uh, day before yesterday. Robert and I, uh, we went uh, attended a an event in Atlanta down there, uh, and uh, it was um, actually it was honoring uh, Tommy Bradford. Uh, it was uh, amazing. We didn't realize how large the event was going to be till we got there, but it was some it was a massive, a, a state sponsored uh, workman's comp event. And uh, they honored Tommy there with a, with an award uh, for actually uh, you know, deciding and to go back to work, you know, come back to you know position here in the county. And um, it was uh, it was a very interesting, uh, touching uh, uh, event. And uh, I got to speak. Uh, Robert went with me. You know, we you know we uh, we actually showed our appreciation to Tommy and and uh, his dedication, you know, uh, to to the county and. Uh, and it was very unusual, you know. It was it was pretty lengthy, you know. They different people went through uh, the caseworkers, attorneys, and I went through. And it's very unusual to see a person, you know, go through what Tommy went through and and even uh, want to come back to work, you know, to to his job. Right. And, and a lot of times when they do, they, they they don't go back into the same profession. They'll find something else, you know. But but um, and it's it's just amazing. It's amazing to them, you know, because he. Uh, well, and for those of you who may be listening, it's not familiar. Yeah. Uh, uh, several years ago, uh, uh, Tommy Bradford, longtime employee with the Dade County Sheriff's Department, mm -hmm. responding to a uh, uh, it was a actually a police chase that started in Fort Payne, Alabama, That's exactly right. and mm -hmm. ended here in the city of Trenton on the square. But uh, just outside the city, or right at the city limits, uh, he was putting down uh, the the spike strips, yep. that, uh, if you will, and the uh, person that was traveling towards the city going northbound actually struck him and yeah. he lost his uh, leg yeah. uh, in that uh, accident and um, and since uh, wears a uh, 
uh, you know, I can't hardly say that word, but obviously uh, he's got uh, he's got a, 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 a leg that a prostate, uh, prostate, prostate, yeah, yeah that prostate prosthetic leg. leg. Thank you. That uh, that he has, and uh, you know, uh, really, really has done a tremendous bounce back from what yeah. was a tragic, yeah. tragic. Uh, could have been life losing accident, yeah. Yeah. but uh, yeah. you know, and he and he came back to work, and and, and basically a lot. Of, I, I guess the award is the fact that a lot of people do not have to come back. They don't have they to. Could have, no, no, they no, could, they, you know, workman's no. comp. You know, yeah. this is an injury that would could have been life changing, uh, but he wanted to come back to work and hands out to, to yeah. him. We need, uh, yeah. uh, you know, Tommy, a, a great guy. Yeah. He was there, you know. He was their major, you know, when that happened, mm -hmm. and he came back and and uh, he decided to actually he he uh, he's captain, of course, with our force now, and and uh, he still holds you know holds the rank and and does his great job. I mean, Tommy, you know, I mean, his uh, his attitude. We went through the whole thing. They went through the whole story yesterday, you know, and had people in tears, you know, you know, when it happened, and we we even had or they even had the people. That to work with him that actually uh, produced the prosthetics. You know, one of the one of the premier uh, industries um, uh, in, the, in the country that make those, and had the, the owner of that company. And he he uh, it was amazing to hear him talk. You know, of what uh, you know what what he went through and the uh, determination. You know that, uh, that absolutely. He went through, yeah. So it's but uh, anyway, we're, we're proud of him. Proud to have him back. And I think Tommy. You know, I think he's he's got a a long career in this county and. Uh, I think you'll see him uh, in the future. You know, do some really, uh, really a lot of good for this county, and uh, and I think he's I think he's got he's got ambitions, and I think you know, and I fully support Tommy. You know, I mean, he's he's just, he's just amazing. You know, to be around, but but anyway, and Mary Ann, I don't I don't want to forget him. I kept talking yesterday. I didn't mention I should have I didn't mention Mary Ann myself, when I'm, but yesterday. But she's you know, it affects your whole family. You know, and, and she's she's right by, right there with him, right behind him. She's she's, she's tough. You know, I mean, she's got to be. But we're we're proud it of it. It took a whole family adjustment. Everybody, everybody. Yeah, it changes uh, your whole sure. in a matter of a second. One cool. one one minute. But, exactly. Uh, yeah. but, uh, tonight, uh, do want to touch? We've got about uh, two minutes yeah, here. Do you want to touch about the uh, commission uh, work session at six o'clock? We'll be streaming that yeah. uh, at, yeah. uh, at your at your, uh, your uh, Facebook site along with KWN News Now. So if anybody wants to watch that, it can't attend. Yeah. Open to the public, of course, and then the meeting yeah. will be uh, following right after that. And like I, I, said, I do, I do want, I do want to mention about the meeting too. That's something I almost forgot. But COVID is back in our, for whatever reason, it's back in our building. I mean, Bill, Don Townsend is home with it. Our Becca, uh, his uh, his assistant there, you know, I mean, she's down with it really bad. His wife's got it. His mother's got it. And I don't know, you know, I mean, we've not it's been out long enough to see who else it's going to actually affect in our office. Hopefully, no one. Uh, but we have, uh, you have we have sprayed you know and everything I mean as far as our, our senior yeah too. yeah the what now senior centers oh yeah and 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 also our senior center so we've set it down today tomorrow all the way through Monday uh, where we can go in and and, uh, and take care of that you know sanitize everything you know but uh, I guess it won't open until Tuesday since Monday's the holiday that's what I'm sorry yeah okay. that, that's true that's true Tuesday and transportation and, uh, still running for medical yeah do what now. Oh yeah, the tr yeah, the medical. Yeah, you know, they're they're still running. The people's the kind of you know, you know they, they hadn't affected that. But as far as anyone inside, but I, and I know we don't have a minute. But but I just want to you know people are welcome to come out. We will have uh, mask and uh, and sanit you know, sanitizer there. You know, but uh, you know it's just I don't know. It's strange how this goes away and it floats back in on us. You know, so uh, but just be careful. Of course, we got the holiday coming up, and I just want to uh, remind people. You know, Labor Day. Uh, try to be careful because it's you know still out there. You know we've kind of not been talking about a whole lot of that, but COVID's still there, and, and just be careful. You know in, in your groups and families and in your churches now. So, uh, but uh, let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, I want to thank the <laughs> the railroad has started counting. If you notice down I here, I did notice. We've got, fact, uh, they've had a train yeah. split there for three days. Man, I know, we, but we've had. But they know, did that. They, they broke it. They broke it in two different places. Two different places. They still got. They can't do anything about the arms being down down here. They are flashing, and I'm not going to tell you go around them. I'm just saying they're down, and but the crossing's open for whatever, you know. But uh, but anyway, that's that's a good thing, you know. And we and we still got a long road to go because we still got problems in the north end. Right. But uh, but that's at least that's a little progress, you know. So, right. uh, Quickly on your yeah. cell number. Four two three six six seven eight nine nine nine. 
and uh, 657 4625. That's our local our office number. And, uh, call anytime if you got any questions or uh, anything I can do for you. Any of the other commissioners, we'll be glad to, glad to help you any way we can. Dade County Executive Ted Romy, appreciate him on the